Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Real Talk in Black and White with the real Team Williams. What's happening, everybody? I'm Roosevelt Williams. And I'm Tanya Williams. And this is the, the real, real Team Williams. Williams in Black and White. That's right, the transparent show where you guys type in information and questions about us because y'all think we're just so cool, <laughs> man. Hey, y'all say we make marriage look easy, but we're here to tell you firsthand it's, it's not. not. That's right. Hey, let's go ahead and get the disclaimer out there. This show is for all the people entertainment purposes. Okay? We're not Ayanna Van Zandt and Oprah Winfrey. We're not Dr. Phil. We're none of that. We don't claim to be doctors or anything of that nature. This show is inspired by our good people that inquire on how we do our thing. So, if you have your stuff together, if you are one of those opinionated people, this is not the show for you. Get your coat and get your hat and get your step and get this step. All right. Let's get down to the thick of the matter tonight. Hey, uh, baby, you sure is looking nice. Thank you. You are too. How you doing? I'm doing real good. Wow. Yes. Check this out, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to get that out on the way because. Anyway, all right. Tonight's question comes from a very, very good friend. And she wants to know how important is a date night in a marriage? And with kids, small kids, how can you go about having a date night? And inexpensive date nights. Maybe if you don't have a lot of extra cash flow and you still want to do something. So that was thrown in there too. And I'm the king of that. Inexpensive. You come to the right place. <laughs> All right. See, I got my my, cap, my gentleman's cap on tonight because I'm going to take a uh, country boy style. All right. Let's get <laughs> <laughs> Let's get for real, y'all. All right. To me, I feel date night is something that is very, very needed in a relationship. Definitely. You got to keep that fire going, y'all. Um, date night, get the tension off of you, the stress off of you. You get a chance to release and enjoy your significant other. Yes. I think it's... Um, one of the top five things that should Definitely. be done on a regular. Now, I know a lot of times it's hard to be on a, on a regular or set schedule to do a date night because you have sports and you have stuff at the school. You got your job. You know what I'm saying? And then you may have long days in between. You know what I'm talking about? But do it at least once a month. That's you, right. Surely you can make time once a month. Now, we've gone yeah. through different seasons and stages of date night. Yes, we you know. Have. When we had small kids, a lot of times running them around in our errands, um, that we we had to want that into date night. So it's sad, but you know you go through those different stages where you have to do that. Well, well, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Let's let's explain that. Let's break that down. Okay, um, a simple date night. You have to compendium. I guess that's the right word. I'm country boy, so work with me. <laughs> Seize the opportunity. You dig? All right, like baby said. Uh, Grocery store. Exactly. Something as small as going through the wild mind. Make it a, make it a little nice, little romantic field trip. You know? I don't know how romantic Walmart can be. Hey. Grocery shopping, but we make it fun. Well, hey, hey, we, hey. We've been on the aisle uh, talking about groceries and stuff like that. And uh, remember that day that lady stopped us and she had been following us all through the store and we didn't know it and she was laughing. Yeah, she we was her entertainment. She followed us from aisle to aisle laughing. I'm talking about, and she said, y'all just so funny. Y'all just made my whole shopping experience so funny. And I'm just like, okay, glad to be your entertainment. Can I get nine ninety five, please? You know. You gotta make the best of it. <laughs> drive around, you know what I'm saying? But um, you got you gotta do it like that. Uh, uh, let me see, grocery shopping. Um, if you go into your son them football game, little league football game, check this out. Instead of taking the the chairs, the fold up chairs, or sitting on the bleachers, 
Get you a blanket. Put a blanket on the ground. Or the back of the tailgate of the pickup truck. Exactly. And sit back there. Get you, bring you some snacks. That's right. That's right. It's going to be cold. Yeah. Snuggle up. Snuggle up. Boo up. Root for your favorite, favorite There too. you go. And you're going to be out there all day, so guess what? You can just really just pull that love on thick. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and I promise you, fellas, it'll take your stock value up. My all-time favorite, though, for an inexpensive date night that What's you want to do. What's that? Um, like you said, we've done it where we put, a, like, a picnic on the floor downstairs yeah. Uh, I've made dinner or we bought dinner and we just had a picnic there. Or, again, if you have a pickup truck, put some pillows in the back of the bed of the pickup truck and get you, um, if you have something like um, those little pro projectors, you can put it on the garage and watch you a movie. You can They have now where you can uh, stick it to your cell phone and you can watch Netflix right there on your garage door. Mm -hmm. Boom. Make you some popcorn. Have you something on a warm night, especially in the summer? Well, other country boy, help you out. I'm going to get a little thicker than that. Ha! <laughs> ha! You ain't got to get a projector and put it all on the garage, though. No, you ain't got to do all that. Get your phone. And just sit that little thing, and y'all just sit on the back of the pickup and watch TikToks. Uh, that's what we do. Watch some TikTok. <laughs> while chilling out there running around, y'all on the back of the pickup watching TikTok and just enjoying y'all self. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's 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 not it's not um you gotta be creative. It's yeah. not rocket science. You know what I'm talking about? Like like me and baby girl, we used to do this all the time. Like you say, we had the upstairs, downstairs, you know. And because we had younger kids and we had one that was like Evil Tarzan. He come through that man on on his bicycle. Coming down the stairs. Boy, I'm talking, doo -doo -doo -doo, just, just tearing up stuff. You know what I'm talking about? And we just be looking at the boy like, something wrong with that boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, he'll, he'll hit the bottom of the stairs. Like, hey, did you see that, Daddy? Did you see that? And he come through there running like a chimpanzee, jumping all on the side. We thought something wrong with him for real, though. But with a child like that, you really have to... Uh, Separate yourself. Yes, <laughs> you yes, gotta have some time to yes, yourself. Yes. So what I used to do, this is what fellas, listen to me, listen to me good. I used to get that. Uh, we had that old, that old big flat screen. Oh TV. yeah. Well, it wasn't flat. Then it was, the, it was the fat back. You know what I'm saying? The big screen. And uh, I liked that fire. Down oh, yeah, the, that the, was the, the stuff right then. And I put that big screen on, get a nice one. It'd be jet black. Black, we had to move it. The children had some popcorn. Down there. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was always cold down it was there. Cold. And they didn't it like was just it. right. And it was cold because we can you know, pull up. But they ain't like it. You have to do stuff to make them feel uncomfortable. Make them get on out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Country boy style. You so know while they saying? were tearing up the upstairs, we were tearing down the downstairs. Chilly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Got the fireplace going. It was cozy. Man, it was just so romantic. But. Just those few hours, oh man, it just took a lot of stress and, and, and it just put us in a in a comfort zone. I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. too, like if you've got kids that you can't separate from, then you have to make it fun and you have to do like around the holidays what so we would right. do uh, to spend time together. We would bring the kids in when they were smaller. I would buy them each a gingerbread house. We would buy the Welch's sparkling. Grape juice, is that what yeah, it was? Yeah, yeah. And so um, we would give them tall wine glasses like they felt like they were having champagne <laughs> or whatever. And that's what we would do. We would pour it, and then we would make um, little treats around. Exactly. Um, you know, I would make cookies and stuff like that and let them help me and, you know, mix the batter and all that. And then we would sit around, and we would just have, like, junk food night where that's what we would do while we were making our gingerbread houses yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's another idea that you can do, especially around the holiday seasons. You know, mm -hmm. let them pitch in and get in there with you. That's one way they learn, and then it makes it more fun for them, too. Yeah. And then, you know... Movie night is always my favorite, but as we're getting older, it's harder for us to stay awake during the movie. Hey, 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 those be some of the most relaxing little naps you ever have in your life. I get hey. so irritated because we've learned we can't go out to eat first and then go to a movie because we get... And here's the thing. <laughs> he don't like to watch chick flicks, so it's always something that they want to watch. So it may be like action or something like that, and we'll go... And they rolled the credits and, like, maybe, what, the first 15 minutes of the movie? And it's like, 
Was, Everybody got tired of that. He's checked out. He's asleep. I'm like, you're snoring. And so I'm watching the movie by myself. So we stopped. Pre-COVID, I'll say, we stopped trying to do a movie night because... You know, we can watch it for chill. we can watch it for free here and yes. make some popcorn yes. and we both can go to sleep. So yes. now we just go out and get something to eat and we come home and we Netflix and chill. Well we do other stuff too now, but that's that's but, 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 but. Well that was one of my faves that we used to my, do. My favorite like I said, going to the movie, that's cool. But what you gotta understand is when when the man got them long hours oh, and I some of know. these females. I know. Boy, and they cut them lights off, boy. Let me tell you but I, at the end of it, I always wake up talking, ooh, that was a good move right there. Let's ride, y'all. And I'd be, I be, I be, I be on it, y'all. I'd be on it. But, uh, yeah, we decided to download everything, 2 big, Netflix, <laughs> Prime. We did all that, and we chill at the house. And it saves a lot of money, too. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So get all the little free channels and, you know, get it. Mm-hmm. Enjoy yourself. Now, i tell you something else you could do. i tell you something else you could do. Um... As far as the date night go, if um, you are able to get a babysitter or something like that, you know, find something that's a common ground for both of y'all to, yeah. um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, be active in. Cause like I said, she'll watch the movie, I'm snowing, I know I get loud, but I don't know what the folk behind me be saying. But uh, we'll, 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 we'll do stuff. Our favorite thing is to catch a nice little dinner at our favorite restaurant, you know, and chalk it up. Or um, go um, through Ross. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Or TJ Maxx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we got our, we got our favorite stores we like to check. Every time we go out of town, the truck come. Yeah, every, every time we go out of town, if we go into Dallas, if we go into South Carolina, Seattle, Washington, if it's a Ross, if we pass it, it'd be we so stop. funny because baby, they're going to Ross, you right down the mile, Mark. They're going to Ross, we right down the mile. And on the way back, are we hitting every last one of them bad boys all the way back? Because you can find some good stuff. But that's a way that you can incorporate date night even in work. Exactly. Because usually we're working exactly. when we're traveling and doing that. Exactly. So that's our little downtime and, mm-hmm. um, you know, in between the shows or whatever, that's on right. the way back or whatever, we'll we'll do that. And that's how we incorporate that for them long rides. We can kind of have a little, <laughs> you know, have a little fun and mix it up too at the same time. And you can shop. At a very affordable price. <laughs> yeah. plug. They always have some good stuff, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I've never been able to go in Ross where we didn't come out with something. It'd be jumping, mm. I'm telling you. Well, it depends on which one you go to. Here? Well, mm, the area. Yeah, kinda, the areas. But not getting yeah, more. Yeah, we ran the song that we, we, we know we Jack won't be Bond. back. But, but some be like, yeah, she say jackpot. We come out wearing bags like we on Rodeo Drive, Jack Rose, baby. But, yeah, uh, incorporate that. You got to seize the moment. So you have to just be really intentional um, in what you do and how you do it. So Mm -hmm. just utilize the time you have. Because sometimes, you know, you may think our schedules are so jam-packed and Mm -hmm. the kids are really small. I don't have um, anyone who can keep my kids and I don't feel comfortable, you know, hiring a babysitter or, you know, the finances is not there. So we have the means to do that at this point. Yeah. So then, you know, you have to get creative. You have to utilize what you got, use what's in your hand. That's right. That's and, you right. know, um, make it count. Like when you're having to go to the store or whatever, make it fun. That, yeah. That's really what we do. Uh, we go to the car wash and we make it fun. We'll, <laughs> We, you know, as you go through the car wash, you know, the lights are changing. We turn up the radio and we act like, you know, hey, we're at the club and we're just going through the car wash. We're old, y'all. We just old. <laughs> everything just, just, just excites us. You, you just have to make everything fun stuff. at this point. I mean, that, and that's real talk. That's real talk. And, and that's a, um, that's a very important thing. Mm-hmm. Making the relationship Laughter. fun. Laughter, man, it goes a long way. The down. jokes. Yeah, yeah, we can sit them crack. We Your can, mama we can, jokes. We can get in the room where where we don't want to be. I, I, I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. I hate going to these bougie events where everybody gotta get in these pissing contests mm. and they better than everybody else. Mm-hmm. Somebody can say, "Man, I just got me a Ford truck." 
And somebody gonna say, boy, you know I got that Dodge Ram now. And then out the clean blue, somebody say, well, I just got a whole patio put on my house. And then they say, oh, you did? Okay, that's good. And somebody, well, what type of wood you use? You know what I'm saying? Well, I got yellow wood. You know what I'm saying? And I just be sitting there like, wow. And then the ladies come on like, ah, and I be looking like, oh, please don't take her because I need her because I need the crack. So what and, we do. Yeah, we get us a nice corner. And we, we spot out the couples. And we sit here and, and we can tell you, like, we're going to say this is what they're saying. We narrate that whole we conversation. Narrate. We narrate. <laughs> what they say. And it be so funny. <laughs> they be sitting over there. I mean, I, it, it, it's the most hilarious thing because... <laughs> The faces and the expressions is actually like they are, they're actually doing that, and what we be laughing, and they be like, they be like, y'all having the, the most fun. I'm like, yes, <laughs> We're and thank y'all, <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all for being who y'all are. <laughs> Boy, I hey, I be laughing, y'all. It be too funny, and y'all got to do the simple stuff like that, man, and and keep it amongst y'all sales. You know yeah, what I'm it's saying? kind of like an inside joke. Yeah, like an inside. Or we'll joke. go to the mall and do that. Like I. I, I really, it. I despise them all, but that's mm. the only reason. I'm a people watcher. I love it. So I will go just to, you know, watch the people because you can see anything come through the mall, honey. And, Ooh, it'd be and so we'll sit there mm -hmm. and, you know, <sighs> back when we were eating how we wanted to, I would go to American Cookie and get me a cookie. Yeah. And we would sit there and we would just watch people and what they had on and that it's like it's very they entertaining if you've ever been to five points south and sit at the fountain like on a saturday night and watch the people come through to go Sad. to the different clubs that's kind of what it's like at the galleria yeah. <laughs> i i noticed that when you go to places like that and they go in the clothing stores and department stores some of the folk be looking so crazy the clothes be too little the guys, it, pajamas. They have on pajamas. Like, what happened to the days where you got dressed up to go do to the mall money. or out? Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You look like you have money. Well, different. <laughs> well, well, the times have changed. Oh yeah. Because dressing up now compared Nobody to back that. then, it's, it's it's not that. Also, I'm glad you brought that up about dressing up. See, when you're doing a date night, listen, y'all, put on your beds. You got to get stuck. Go all the way. If you're sitting in the living room sometime, get, get fly. Light the candles. Put on your put on your bed, your, your Stetson and all that good stuff. And, man, you kick the bobo. I'm mm -hmm. talking about, hey, hey, let us see that. I'll act like you're at a five-star restaurant and you ain't eating that but a ham sandwich or something. You know, something simple. But, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes get fly. Or this is, this is a good one, too. Um, you know, sometimes you have to role play. So decide where you want to eat. And go somewhere, but go separately. So you get ready and you leave. Don't let him see you, you know, and let him meet you there. And, you know, whatever, hey, wear, wear you, ladies, wear you a long trench coat or something like that with some, um, uh, a dress or not. And, you know, leave something to the imagination. Wear you some, uh, some big heels, some six inch heels. Get you some uh, fishnet stockings and just walk in and act like you're strangers. Let him buy you a drink and come up to you or whatever, you know. Then, you know, when it's time to go and he walks you to his car, hey, let him let him rub up that thigh all the way to the top. Oh, you going too no, far? No surprise. Oh, you going too far? Now. But that, that's what builds it. Then, then, yeah, I know. Then, what, hey, he, then hey, what he hey. don't realize my, is my partner's on all me. you wore was the stockings, dog. And then give him something to look forward to on the way home. I bet he beat you home. <laughs> Fellas, this is the date that you don't have to worry about because you get lucky every day. And you don't spend any money because chances are you've uh, bought that one drink and that's all it is. And you know what I'm saying? He's already had the eye candy. Yeah. He walks you to the car. He ain't, he ain't studying eating. After that, it's a wrap. This is the one I like. This is the one I like. Y'all love them wigs, so switch it up. Y'all go in there separate and uh, <clears throat> a guy be pushing up on him and you walk up. Hey, how you doing? My name is Rosie Love. Hey, your name is? And the guy sitting there looking crazy. And then she give you that plate. How about you come have a drink with me? 
and she get up like, you know, you 007, you know. <laughs> and the dude be looking like, damn, dude got game. <laughs> he don't know that's my wife, though, you know what I'm saying? But I take the sweat. But the whole night, be, I'm talking about it be lit up, man. It be lit up. I'm telling you now. And uh, y'all try that. That role, I love the role play. That's my thing. Role play. I got I got masseuses, uh, mm-hmm. Jesus. Oh, I don't like that one, and, but uh, I'm Peaches. Raphael. Peaches. Oh yeah, Peaches and uh, uh, what's 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 old girl? I ain't seen him in a while. She don't come out much. Yeah, I know. You know, Raphael, he stay getting locked up. Yeah, well, he got a massage parlor where he just he's a perv. I don't like him. And, uh, he, he's he, a he, he the best masseuse in town, though. But hey, he get the job done. You see what I'm saying? You know, you got to you, <laughs> you got to do it, man. Have that fun, man. Don't never, ever, ever stop having fun. You in know, your spice it up. You know, spice go up. buy you some massage oil and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, we've had some of the funnest trips at what's what's that store we like to go to? What's it called? We just go in there and laugh. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't go in them type of stores. <laughs> I'm going in them type of stores. I don't know what I'm saying. We're, we're, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. We're, we're married. I don't know we're man. married, so we can talk about it. Love stuff. That's what it is. Love stuff. I don't know nothing about that. Well, story. I've even gone with my friends, well, and you know, we've shopped for our husbands, and well, we go in there, and we have us a good time in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you know, we just we go in there, we we some laugh of the some toys, of the stuff that you see in there. Uh, I'm like, they ain't, ain't no way in ridiculous. God's green earth am I going to try that? Ridiculous, <laughs> guys. I mean, it, it, it'll trip you out. It's like well, hey, they have edible underwear, but on the package it say do, do not, not eat. eat. <laughs> <laughs> so if you got edible underwear but I can't eat it, that, that's a conflict that interest, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But uh it's it's so much fun, man. Go in there. Mm-hmm. Do just go to different spots that's different. Stop going to the same, the place. same places. Try something new. Try something different. Get you some strawberry and whipped cream. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it ain't nothing like, you know, sit there and eat that and, you yeah. know, do what you want to with that or whatever. But, you know, you got to, you know, spice it up. Get some K-Ro syrup. I don't know about that. I don't, nobody wants to be sticky. Speak for yourself. I don't. I don't, I don't want to be sticky. You got a man know what he's doing, you won't be sticky that long. Anywho, into who, into who, into Ooh. Now, so with that being said, y'all. Now you can move to when you have money. Oh, boy, when you got money, it's a whole different bowl game. Oh, my fave? Whole different bowl game. What's your fave, baby? What's your fave? Couples Don't massage. You Couples massage. Yeah. Strawberries, we get, uh, what is it? Mimosas? Yeah, yep. and then we get the, the chocolate covered strawberries. And we get the table right next to each other. <laughs> So Once awesome. again, I be sleep doing that. That's oh, yeah. to he's, me. That's my comfort zone. He's definitely zone. snoring, and I'm yeah. talking through the whole thing to whoever's giving me my massage. About talking about me. Talking about me. They be talking about me snoring like a bat. Man, my neck and stuff be hurting, and man, they be he, getting them he kicks makes out. it so Ooh. awkward. He'll get in there and he'll start like loud moaning, and I'm just like, oh my! <laughs> and we're all laughing. Again, you got you got to make it fun. It's just like what what's hey, really going feeling, on over there? Hey, be feeling good, <laughs> man. When they get off in that in that part and put all the elbow, man, let me tell you, you can't do that butt yeah. bone like a bat. You know what I'm talking about? So, I love so it. So when you get to the point to where you can spend money, those are really good. We've done yeah. the yeah. that with facial, and then. What we get? Some kind of body scrub or something? What else did we get with that? Yeah, we got we got that the lady some did some kind the, of shower um, and something else. Yeah, we got the sauna. It was like the hot tub sauna thing. One, it was like the sauna room, steam room, or something I don't, like that. I don't, I don't like that. I can't breathe but, in there. Uh, yeah, that 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 body scrub though. It, 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 you know, if you got hair, it ain't fight. It snatch that man. That hair be pulling it. You know, I, I was. <laughs> If you if your body got hell the body scrub thing, you might want to skip that part, fellas. You know what I'm talking about. The facial, I highly recommend the facial. Now the facial really junk. Yeah. yeah, the facial junk. Yeah. They get all that oil and stuff out of it, you know. Now, so that um, um uh, yeah, horseback riding. Oh yeah. That, that was that was a fa- on the beach, that was my fave. Well, just like make sure they don't give you a half dead horse. Yeah. 
Well, that was on my bucket list. It was something I've yeah. always wanted to do, and I did it. So, yeah, great team effort. They, I, I'm not giving you a high five. They gave me a salad that was too little, y'all. The salad was. I was on there. I was on this hunt. I'm, I'm riding every time they hit a bump. I'm sitting like this, and they would hit my man stuff. And, and, <laughs> and the poor horse, he was just barely, barely moved and walking. And uh, her and the other, the, the, the guy that was leading us, they decided that they were gonna run, take out and, and just run on the beach because. I guess there was a certain spot wanted, you run past something. I wanted gonna take my a hair to blow in the wind, yeah. in the breeze, on the beach. Yeah, in, in Even anyway. though I want well, my bangs. I want my bangs to blow in the wind. Let's start from the beginning, okay? Okay. <laughs> I, I I get up there, and they asked me, did I want to ride the horse? I said, yeah, I want to ride the horse. Ride the horse. And they had this one horse. The horse was chewing on the fence. He just eating the fence. and he, They called him Bandito. And I'm looking at Bandito because that's the only other horse that I see. And I'm, I'm still looking like, I know y'all ain't finna put me on here because Bandito was looking at me with that, with that one eye like, like, you know, ain't no, ain't, you don't know, come on. I know, ain't no way in the hell you finna bring him over here, this big dude. And I'm looking like, nah, Bandito, you ain't got to worry about me. So they said, no, 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 no. They make it, no, 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 we have horse for you, we have horse for you. And they went and got a horse. It was the craziest thing. Back mountain. Y'all, this horse was half dead. It was the saddest thing. And uh, the horse was just barely moving. I kick it on the side. It, it, it was still about three steps. Then it slow back down. So when they took off the run, my horse is with the. I mean, it was and I and I instantly pulled around. Ho 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 ho! It, it, it was it was killing me. So make sure, make sure. When you go on your horseback ride, you go to a place that they have sufficient horses that, you know, her horse was like a little thoroughbred. I mean, spunky, beautiful. The other man's horse was good. And they, I, I, we have pictures. Go on our social media site and you'll see these pictures. My legs almost touched the ground on this horse, y'all. The horse back was, the horse was about to die. And I'm like, oh, let me give y'all this horse. Please, I'm killing the horse back here. But. Uh, that's fun. The horseback ride always soothing. Fishing. I love fishing. Oh, I love me some fish. I love some fish. I love fishing. It's just so soothing. You sit out there. You might not even catch nothing, but I promise y'all. Y'all sit out there. Y'all talk. Bring snacks. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring, Bring some snacks. snacks now, because you're going to be out there for a while. Yeah. I know it sounds nasty. Get your hands stuff and ball of water so you can wash your hands, because you're going to be in the worms and stuff, you know? But uh, some of y'all going to be like, Ugh, I promise you, lady. I love fishing. It's fun. And if you catch one, Oh, you're going to always remember it. You know bragging what I'm talking rights. about? That's right. Straight bragging See, what rights. else do we like to do? Um, uh, you know, I like taking long walks walk, around I the neighborhood. I walks, yeah. yeah. Long walks around the neighborhood. Get your child. This is something that's very romantic. Uh, if you got little children, especially, get them a, a little, little scooter thing, a little cart, bicycle or something, you know? Wagon. And uh, Yeah, a wagon, wagon, all that good stuff. And um, y'all just walk. Slow walk the neighborhood, hold hands. Let the child get out there and, like I said, he's going to be in his own little world or she. And uh, y'all just sit back there and talk. You know? Or ride bikes. We used to do that. Yeah. The whole family yeah. would go ride bikes. Yeah, and we now did. we ride motorcycles. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? I love that part right there. Yeah. Me and baby girl go on a motorcycle. If y'all, man. If y'all. Uh, now we uh, now we have the little um, things in our helmets so we can talk to each other. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think yeah. he uh, particularly likes that part because... I like to talk, and that takes away his soothing ride. Well, you know, my wife, she got this thing. She was like, oh, look at the deal. Oh, look at that. And and on the motorcycle, <laughs> you got to ride that bike. And you, you ain't got time to be looking at a deal because you look at a deal, you go, oh, you be riding over there on the motorcycle going up through the bushes. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, you know, we talked. and said, hey, we're going to get off on this exit or something like that. Other than that, turn it off and go back to your radio. And uh, cause she, you know, she get to talk, and then, well, that's another chapter. But it's 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 fun. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Also, something else you can do, get in the car, and just take a long ride. Oh no, those are fun. Yeah, flip a Remember coin. Remember that park we went to? Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, it was like a nature trail, and it so, had uh, all kinds so, of stuff. Uh, that was nice. Like um, it was somewhere. It was a good drive. Yes, it was. Somewhere we'd never been. Um. Go to like Nakaloo Falls oh, yeah. or something like that. Lookout Mound. Uh, like say, just say uh, north, south, east, or west. You know, flip the coin and 
get in the car. No, no destination. Just get in the car. And have sex. Fill up. Yeah, you know, stop and get you some snacks now. And just hit that freeway and just go, just ride, just ride. Until one of y'all say, oh, I, I, let's go here. Baby girl, she like, when we go down south, she likes to go to the, uh, what that is, the pecan place on the other side of Montgomery. Oh, yeah. They have the yeah, praline. Yeah, the praline place. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. They're always closed when we come through. Yeah. It's always on a Sunday. Yeah, because it's like oh, that. Oh, but, oh. but we do find other places where we can stop and, you know, sightsee and do our little thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, you got to keep the fun and you got to keep the romance. You got to keep the uh, excitement in the marriage no matter what. You see what I'm saying? Like I say, come through. I, I'm the best joke teller in the world, no, fellas. Oh, no. No, so, he's, no uh, he's not. Huh? No, he's not. So, anywho, skip the joke. But maybe, you know, start off the day with a, a nice little text message. Your jokes suck. They're white. I mean, the jokes are, I got a good joke. Don't quit your day job or your... I got, I got the best jokes in the world. And other gigs. They don't find it funny because they didn't come up with it. But then I, I, I catch them going in the room and they be laughing because the jokes be funny. Because you're corny and they're dumb. That's why we laugh. We're like, no, it's not because they're funny. No. No. I think they're funny. They're not. I think. Anyway. I, I I would pay somebody if you could find one person who thought they were legitimately funny. I I would give them twenty bucks. Y'all want to hear a joke? Before no, we no, we don't have time. Anywho, so well, you gonna have to pay them for twenty bucks, or they gonna laugh at the joke? No, they're not. <laughs> I guarantee you. Anywho, so. Hater, man. I'm not a hater. Trust me. Y'all, y'all be laughing. I got the best jokes. Anyway, go go ahead. Say, say whatever you're finna say. Dream killer. <laughs> I'm not a dream killer. I just I'm, I I'm, be I'm being smile. honest. It's it's just like when I sing and in my mind I'm Tasha Cobbs and you come break my heart and ask me like, could you please shut up? And then you're like, oh, did I say that out loud? I mean, it's kind of the same thing. No. We we got to know where our gifts and our talents are and ride with those. But just like I know singing ain't my thing, that joke, them jokes ain't yours. But anywho, so always, you know, keep it spontaneous. Keep it fun. Keep it young. I don't find that funny because I got good jokes. <laughs> I got a good joke. Anyway, nobody wants to hear this. So, anywho, so those are just some of the things that we've done for date night through the years. Some things that are inexpensive. Um, you know, some things that are expensive. Let the got, joke go. Let, got, let it go. I got go. good jokes. No, no, nobody wants to hear them. They won't hear one of my jokes. No, our time is up. But they won't hear one of my jokes. No, we don't. I know my mama won't hear one. Well, you call her when we're done. Your mama always will laugh because that's your mama. I got a lot of friends who want to hear my joke. Will you tell them when you go to the barbershop or wherever y'all go? Not tonight. Come on. We're on everybody's time. Wrap it up. I got a good joke. Let it go. Okay. But I want to. Elsa, joke. let it go. It's funny. Mm-mm. Not funny. Come on. The one about the cow. Come on now. I, I've, got, I've got, come on. i got stuff to do. Anywho, y'all. Like we say, man, I hope we was able to help <laughs> somebody tonight. I hope y'all got the nuggets together. Uh, do something that's real simple. Come outside the box. Do something just simple and plain. And uh, enjoy yourself. You know, if y'all like the color and, and, and draw, you know what I'm saying, have a drawing contest and then laugh about it. You oh, know. yeah, because he sketched yes, me. And it is, yes. He's a good drawer, but it was not I'm accurate. a good joke teller, too. No, you're not. Anywho, yeah, those are all great things. Oh, have sip and paint party night. Sip and strokes. We did that one night. That was really fun. That joke night. No. No. You ever heard the one about the cow? Huh? You ever heard the one? Y'all ever heard the one about the cow and the bull? I have to laugh already just because you're so excited about it. This is going to be so dumb. Go ahead. 
<laughs> you know what? You know what? I ain't, you know, I ain't even gonna tell y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all because she hating on me, man. And y'all, it, it's gonna be funny. I got a joke, man, and all my jokes are from scratch. I oh. never, I never steal material oh, from they're nobody. Gonna know. They're gonna They're gonna be able to tell that. I don't. Uh, without a doubt. Go on with the cow and the bull. Come on, hurry up, there. We gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna let you have your moment in the spotlight. You Show, showcase yet another talent. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all the one about the. Tell y'all the one about the cow, and the bull. It's all original material. So if I hear one of y'all at the comedy club <laughs> using this joke, I know y'all stole my material. All right, and I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come at you because I'm gonna want my percentage. Anyway, the cow and the bull was in the past. Look how excited he is, y'all. The, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's a good joke. He's like the kid with the Easter. It's speech. a good joke. Okay, cow and the bull was in the pasture, and the farm hand came and they got the bull, and they took the bull off, and the bull came back, and the bull was upset, and the bull was just, 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 just walking around, and the cow said, "Hey, what's wrong?" And the bull said, "Look, look, look." Man, they over there. I don't know what they were doing, but they, they, they were doing something to my backside and all that good stuff. And the cow said, oh, well, what's going on? What, what that is right now? And the bull said, I don't know. What you talking about? And the cow said, right there on the ground. What that, what that on the ground? Says his balls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. They clicked him. And the cow said, the cow said, right there on the ground, what that is on the ground right there. And the bull said, oh no, oh no, he looked, he looked. And the cow said, man, they look like some rocks. And the cow looked and said, no. He said, what? These nuts. <laughs> yeah, he clipped him, you know what I'm saying? They clipped him and the nuts on the ground. They castrated them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, these, yeah, the nuts was on the ground. They castrated. Well, all right, y'all. That was fun, wasn't it? Y'all like that? Hey, listen, listen. That it, I got other jokes I can tell. No, and, no. I, Thank you. Anywho, man, I hope that helped y'all out, man. Yeah, have some fun. Uh, enjoy yourself. Nice, affordable dating night. And just enjoy each other's company. It's very, very, excuse me, important, you guys. Okay? <laughs> See, I told you you going to laugh. I told you she's thinking about that right now. These nuts. <laughs> anyway, y'all. I'm not uh, laughing at the joke. Uh, but anywho. I'm Roosevelt <laughs> Williams. <laughs> With and me. this is the, the real, real team Williams, Williams in black and white. Oh my my my! Till next time, we love y'all. Remember, Jesus love you, and we love you too. Since we love you, love yourself, and at the same time, love somebody else. It's totally free, y'all. <laughs> Come on back now, you hear? <laughs>